In version 24, there is a new limit option called Dynamic Limits, whereas Regular Limits allows the rangefinder's near and far range limits to be adjusted in order to ignore unwanted objects, Dynamic Limits can be set to a subject and will move with them, automatically ignoring other objects within the rangefinder range. Another way to visualize Dynamic Limits is as a lockout that moves with your subject. To engage Dynamic Limits, enter Limits and press the Dyn Touch key. In the Dynamic Limits menu, there is a Master Enable switch which must be turned on to enable the function. Dynamic Limits are comprised of two distance settings on either side of your subject. Both the forward and behind Dynamic Limit points are measured relative to the leading edge of your subject. These distances can be adjusted up or down from the 12 inch or 30.48 centimeter default, thus determining the depth of the Dynamic Limits zone. The last setting is the No Target Timeout. If your subject leaves the Dynamic Limits zone, no target will be displayed and the empty Dynamic Limits zone will remain in place at the distance it was abandoned. You can set how long you wish Dynamic Limits to remain active before the rangefinder reverts to reading full range. If the NT Timeout is set to zero, the Dynamic Limits will remain active and distance readings will not be displayed until a subject or object enters the zone. Switch on Master Enable to display dynamic limits on the Rangefinder page. The Dyn button replaces the Lockout Touch key under the Regular Limits key. Please be aware that Regular Set Limits take precedent and will override dynamic limits unless cleared. Now, with your subject in place, press Dyn to lock dynamic limits to your subject. Once set, the dynamic limits distance is chained to your subject and all other objects in the Rangefinder's range are ignored. We are using Hi-Fi Focus Tracking to illustrate this example. Dynamic Limits not only isolates your subject from other objects in range, but also adds stability to your subject readings, especially when your subject may be pushing the threshold of your set field of view. In this example, Dynamic Limits effectively stops the rangefinder from missing a reading and throwing deep. In this last focus tracking example of Dynamic Limits, we see how crosses are ignored during a standard walk-up on a wide-open 47mm Airy Signature Prime. Lastly, Dynamic Limits can also be set for a bug transmitter, creating a user-defined Dynamic Limit Zone on either side of the bug for increased reading stability in challenging situations.